It's a and G skateboarding. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you're going to get on your board, where your foot is going to be placed, and how you're going to get comfortable riding on your board. Before we get into this video, I just want to let you know I'm going to try and upload every single day for a while. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Let's get into the video. <music> I just want to make sure you've seen my last video, which way you put your foot forward, which I'll leave right up in the corner. Check that out before you watch this video. Let's get started. Where do you want to place your so feet? So when you first step on your board, it's going to be very wobbly. For beginners, when you're trying to figure things out, having a patch of grass can help you because your board won't move. You can also hold on to an object. Okay, before we start riding, let me go over something. Using at least wrist pads will really help your confidence and make you a better skater when you're starting out. It's in the bottom, so if you hit your concrete, it bashes against that piece and you don't feel pain. Your, board, your wrist guard hits the concrete and you don't feel pain and you don't break a wrist. If your board has a completely significant tail, you're going to want to have that backwards and have the nose of the board forwards. Okay, so now which foot do you put on first? When a lot of people are starting out, they do something like this. They put their back foot on and then they put your front foot on. Trust me, you don't want to do this. At first, it might be a little bit easier to do it that way, but you can hurt yourself more and it will not be efficient in the future. It'll cause a bad so you habit. you want to put your front foot on, which is with me is my right foot, and then your back foot, your left foot, on the back. So, if I put my front foot on, I have immediate access to my back foot, my pushing foot, which can make me move forward. Okay, so when you're just cruising around the streets, or skating any type of transition, you're going to want to have your foot covering the bolts. Most boards have bolts like these, and you want to have your foot at least covering, or in the middle of the bolt. So, like, right there is good. And then you want to have your back foot right on the tail. When you're starting out, it might feel really comfortable to not have it on the tail, but if you can get comfortable with your back foot on the tail, which has immediate access to being able to pop your tail, that's how you're gonna wanna run. Tricks require different positions. So like, if I were to ollie, I would wanna have my foot under the bolts so I could pop and slide up. Quick recap of that. Your front foot goes on the bolts, and then your back foot is gonna ride on the back, and you can move forward down your slope or road. Okay, so let's talk about pushing. How you get speed on flat ground. When you're pushing, you wanna have your front foot on your board, like that, and your back foot on the back. You can use your back foot to push just right like now, so. You're gonna be super shaky, and it's gonna be very hard to do. Trust me, if you ride around enough, it'll just be second nature to you, and you won't ever have a hard time balancing again. One of the biggest issues when people start skateboarding, they go to put their pushing foot right on the back bolts and use their other foot. This gives all of that room up there. This is called pushing mongo. You don't wanna do this. There are some instances you can do this, but you do not want to start off pushing like this. Ride just like that with your back foot pushing. Extremely awkward. Everywhere, you'll get perfectly comfortable and ready to move on to some cooler tricks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe. I hope this tutorial helped you a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, so if you want to get fully comfortable, literally ride your board everywhere.